In this lecture, we are going to begin implementing Web3 in our sign in component. Our first step is going to be to detect the browser provider. We have to detect that our user, the client, has MetaMask installed or an Ethereum browser. So here I'm going to build a constant called detect provider and we are going to implement a function. We are going to declare a provider and check if window.ethereum is true. We'll set the provider to window.ethereum. So provider will equal window.ethereum. Otherwise, we will check if window.web3 is valid, in which case we'll set the provider to window.web3.current provider. Otherwise, there is no browser detected, so we can make an alert that says no Ethereum browser slash MetaMask detected. So in this case, the client has to get an Ethereum browser or MetaMask. All right, so that is going to check a provider. Now inside of here, our HTML for the component, we are going to build out a button. On click, it's going to handle sign in. So let's make an on sign in handler. The type is a button. All right, in here we can leave the text empty for now. So next, let's build out a function on sign in handler. So I'll declare a const and this should be an asynchronous function. First, we need to grab our provider using our function detect provider. If the provider is valid, then we can continue. So here I am going to set is connecting to true because we are currently connecting, we have to then join with an account. So up here at the top of my component, I'm going to declare a constant is connecting as well as set is connecting. We're going to set it to use state setting in false. We do have to import use state from React. So here we are putting to use set is connecting to true. Then we are going to await a provider request. The method will be eth underscore request accounts. So we need to have the user sign in with their MetaMask account. Then we can set is connecting to false because they have finished connecting. Also make sure that in detect provider that you return the provider. Otherwise we're just declaring a local variable that never gets used. So make sure that you return the provider. So whenever we call detect provider, we will get window.ethereum or window.web3, which will assign the provider to window.ethereum or window.web3.current provider. And just make sure you spell current provider correct as well. So then what do we use connecting for? Well, inside of our button here, we can check if not is connecting, then we can display connect to MetaMask because is connecting is false. And we'll check if is connecting is true, then we are going to say log into MetaMask. So we'll have to either connect to MetaMask account or log in. All right, that will be the text of the button dependent on the value of is connecting. And that is true. Here is connecting will be set to true before we have this request sent. 
All right, so then we'll have is connecting to false. I'm also going to send a property props dot on sign in will be my provider so we can send some properties. Now what if the provider is not true? So here I want to make sure I have this check. So if provider is true, this should actually wrap all of this. You have to make sure that the provider is true before you set is connecting and then you await and you set is connecting again. Make sure that's all inside of if provider is true. We do have to check if our provider is not window.ethereum, we should throw a error that says not window.ethereum provider. So here we'd have to check the status type of the provider. However, if we do have window.ethereum provider, then we can continue on with the rest here where we set is connecting. So that is what we need for our sign-in. And then at the bottom, we're exporting the sign-in code. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.